there's that little square right there. That just sits in there like that. Now, here's the problem with your, with your when you take your, this is your extractor. What breaks is the tip here. It won't grab the cartridge anymore. Now, this is the later, originally, this spring just came up and it had a pin, and there was a hole here. And you had to put the pin in the hole and hold this together. You had to lay that on there, and then you have to get it into the gun. What they did later on is they just used a blind rivet. But this is what the soldiers were losing, and they would break, they would break the tip we break the tip off of there, and then it won't grab. It won't grab the cartridge. So this, they always had to carry spare extractors, extractor springs with them. So now, like I said, this thing here. See where that notch groove mm -hmm. is? That just goes in there. That's it. It's got to be able to. It's got to be able to. Um, it's got to be able to move off of the thing. Now you hold it. Dan, can you hold it, Right, you want it disassembled. Mm -hmm. See this thing out of here? You push it, and that's it. Once you offset it, this bolt will slide right out. You'll do a fly up, and it'll slide right down. So here, give it a try. Exactly, especially so, yourself. There you go, that's it. Just like that. Now, open the bolt. Yeah. Uh, you always do it on a table, so yes. just come, just take it right on out. Okay, yeah, I don't want to. Okay. And that's it. Cool. And then you just got to kind of ram it home. Yeah, but if I'm going to ram it home, do I have to pull no, this up? No, you leave that down. Okay. And then you just... Yeah. Ram it home. Okay, cool. That's it. And of course, you know how to... You, you, here's the safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's your, there's your release release. Now, you also mentioned before... Once you cock it, obviously you're going to have to fire it. Yeah, you, I, a couple of times I was able to lower it, but it's, it's hard to do it. Yeah. you got to get it just right. you got to hold it. I wouldn't try it with a live round in the gun. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to oh, go off. I, I, I did. I did. So I had a break. So I got just like I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So I'm like, so. <laughs> you're trying to lower it, boom. <laughs> no, 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 it didn't, didn't go off. Yeah, I, I know. I just wanted them to see if it fit and everything. Right. And then I really, then I. All right, so what's the magazine cut off? Okay. The concept behind this was, you open the bolt, mm -hmm. you remove the cut off, you would loose feed 10 303 caliber bullets down into the fixed box magazine which is on the gun. Mm -hmm. Once the magazine was full, then you would basically slide this cut off over and this would keep the cartridge out of the way of the bolt. So the bolt could actually be operated and you wouldn't grab a cartridge. So at this point, it's now it's a single loader. Okay. You would put one cartridge in at a time, close the gun, fire it, open the bolt. So as this is now is being used as a single loader. So a single it, shot basically. Single shot, one, yeah. one bullet at a time. There's no, um, there is no um, aperture on here mm -hmm. or it's not designed to take a stripper clip as on the later short model Lee Enfield or the later Lee Enfields, long Lee Enfields. Yeah. So now what happens now is, is that if a situation comes where um, you need to have high rate of sustained fire, you could then reach over and you could remove the cutout. This allows the bullet to just move up just enough to catch the edge of the bolt. So now when you bring the bolt forward, you would now be starting to peel the cartridges yeah. out of the magazine up to 10 shots and then you'd basically have to reload that magazine and then place the cut off back over or reload the magazine and then you could fire it 10 times okay and like this is now the difference between the two is is on this weapon here you have an aperture here mm -hmm. to take the stripper clip so now this allows you to load the cartridge is in now simply by pushing them down yeah. into the magazine. It's the same magazine, it's that this gun is designed to use a stripper, stripper clip. clip. Yep. And this is a later model. This is a Mark III with an asterisk. This gun was a wartime produced, this is 1918, and for cost, uh, make it cost effective, the uh, cutoff is actually removed, uh, removed from the gun. You actually can see where it would have been machined in right there, yeah. but it's now removed. It's not even part of the manufacturing process. Well, that was a good idea to get that. Uh, yeah. And there's no, there's no, uh, there's no volley sight on this gun. Oh, yeah. 
and on the old Lee Metford and the long Lee, you have your, you know, here's your aperture, your rear aperture for your, for your volley sight. There's the rear, and then up here is your, here's the, the front aperture for, for, sh for shooting long range or for volley firing. Mm -hmm. Of course, by World War One, they realized that that type of uh, soldiers would not be firing volleys at that kind of range anymore. Yeah, and especially with trench warfare and all that with artillery and, and that's it. Fantastic.